renewing the covenant of salvation kufanya upya maagano ya wokovu bwana asifiwe sana i think number one, it is very very important to understand that salvation is a covenant you know when we talk about covenant some people wonder what is it all about this covenant but salvation itself is a covenant matthew 26 and verse 27 when jesus was just about to die praise the name of the living god in the last supper the bible says he took the cup gave thanks and offered it to them saying drink it drink from it all of you what did he say look at this let us read together this is my blood of the covenant which is poured for many for the forgiveness of what yeah just said this is my blood of the covenant so when jesus poured his blood he used his blood to ratify a covenant by the way ndio nimevaa swatch suit ya led kwa sababu ni message ya covenant jina la bwana kipewe sifa hallelujah at least ukisahau message unakumbuka suti sasa tawafanyia nini na tunataka muingie binguni Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the name of the living God. If the new covenant is only for this life, we are to be pitied. The new covenant, praise the name of the living God, is not only for this life. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wapendwa, mimi napenda kuishi maisha ambayo kwa neema ya Mungu najua nikitoka kwa huu mwili siogopi Bwana asifiwe sana Kuna watu waliongea katika Biblia watu kama Petelo Petelo walikuwa nasema ninajua niko karibu kuondoka katika hema ya huu mwili Hema ni kumaanisha this body is very temporary You live in a tent It is very temporary Paul alikuwa anaongea nasema my departure is near kwa hivyo alikuwa anasema nitaondoka na nitaenda. So tunapaswa kuishi maisha haya kwa njia ambayo unajua nikitoka katika huu mwili sitaogopa. Jambo moja linisumbua because I gave my life at the age of to Christ at the age of 20. Na at that age unajua joto ya ujana na mimi kwanza nilikuwa na kazi. Unajua mimi nilifundishwa zamani na shida my first uh, nilikuwa naangalia maisha yangu naona my first contract nilichukua nikiwa na miaka 16 bishop by the age of 16 i was a contractor usiulize nilichukua id gani usiifanye police case bwana <laughs> asifiwe sana uh, at the age of 16 nilikuwa nachukua contract because what i did when i went to nairobi kwa sababu ya challenges za nyumbani I got into construction. I think Mungu alikuwa anataka nijue mambo ya kujenga zamani. Na ile kazi ningefanya kwa construction ni kupiga sandpaper. Nilikuwa naishi Madhale North. I remember myself nikitembea Kariobangi road about nikiwa na slippers kwenda kuchukua roli ya mjengo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Siulisikia nabii akisema mambo yale nilipitia lakini ilikuwa ya kunitengeneza. Bwana asifiwe sana. So nilikuwa nalipwa shilingi 35. Nikapiga sandpaper, nilikuwa napigia fundi, mimi nilikuwa mtu wa mkono. Na nilikuwa na fundi, mimi napiga sandpaper, yeye anapaka rangi. Nikaona huyu fundi vile anashika blush. Nikawa wakati mwingine nikamwambia, "Uli hao besha maita Meren, <laughs> unalipwa mara mbili." Ha? Kwa sababu ya hiyo blush, kwanza mimi ndio nafanya kazi mgumu, ninakunywa vumbi kamwambia si unisaidie nijue hii kupaka rangi haku anataka sana lakini akieda ranch nakataa kwenda ranch nafanya practice practice because practice practice makes perfect 
nikajifundisha fundisha nikaona sasa nimejua kidogo nikajua siwezi kuwa mtu wa mkono nikaanza kwenda kwa site za mjengo nikaanza kutafuta kazi ya ya mafundi kwena wera wa fundi goku kuna kazi ya fundi na nikapewa kazi ya fundi na kwa sababu nilikuwa na bidii nikafanya kazi ya ufundi nilipofanya kazi ya ufundi si kufanya muda mrefu kama miezi sita tu nikaangalia nikaona wale watu wananifanyia kazi ya ufundi huwa wanaenda nyumba ikijengwa wanatafuta contract wanapewa wanakuja kututafuta mafundi na ndio huwa anakula pesa mingi nikasema hapa hakuna rocket science so nakumbukanga contract yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa mrango kubwa na contract yangu ya pili ilikuwa mahali kunaitwa huko sijui spring valley na nikawa napata pesa mzuri so even by the time nilikuwa naenda college ya askari mimi hata wazazi wangu wako wanajua nilikuwa na pesa ya kutosha kujinulia vitu bwana asifiwe sana so wakati niliokoka baadaye nikiwa kijana kwa sababu maybe uko na pesa na kuna maisha ulikuwa unaishi nikaanza kuona kama kuna raha nimepoteza nikaanza kuona vijana wale tulikuwa na wao vile wanafanya sherehe kaanza kuona he kaide yao no kile tena kwani ndio koka mapema unajua ni vizuri kuongea hii mambo usaidie mtu mwingine we are not angels praise the name of the living god so what happened usiku moja mungu akanichukua and then nikaona bingu yote imebadilika then nikaona imefunguka na nikaona tumeenda sehemu ambayo ni mahali kuzuri nyasi inakaa sio kama ile tu natural ni kama mkeka yani mahali unasikia ni mahali pazuri mahali ambapo unasikia umeshawahi kusikia vile mtu anaguzwa makwapo unasikia kucheka mahali unasikia huo uzuri wa kucheka peke yako uzuri mwingi amani nyingi sasa nikasema kuna rafiki ambaye nikiokoka tulikuwa tunakaa neighborhood sasa nilikuwa namuona anapita na wasichana hapo bad ni mulevi na nilikuwa naona kama muangia na furahia maisha alafu nilikuwa na rafiki mwingine mnamjua alikuwa anaitwa wanjohi so nilipofika huko nikasema sasa inawezekana wanjohi my friend hakufika huko kasema wacha nikatafute wanjohi niliona hapa ni mahali pazuri hapa naweza taka rafiki yangu akuje praise the name of the living god nikaenda kumtafuta tulikuwa tunahubiri na yeye nikaenda kumtafuta nikienda kutafuta wanjohi nilikutana mwisho huko nikakutana na mwangi mwangi nywele zake mwangi sasa ni ule hajao kokana nilikuwa natamani maisha yake nikamkutana nywele zake zimesimama anakaa kama wazimu nikamuuliza mwangi kwani kulienda namna gani mwangi akaniambia kemani kule tulienda ni kubaya sana hata kama saa hizi vile unaona nitaingizwa na mateke nitapigwa kwanza wacha niende nikaona mwangi amekibia yani ni mtu anaenda haraka haraka na vile anakaa hey na mimi pande hii niko sina ile ku, sina machozi praise the name of the living god sasa nilipo kanyanga step 2 kwenda kutafuta wajohi nilijipata niko kitanda industrialia mahali nimerara <laughs> but surprisingly ule uzuri bado ulikuwa na mimi kwa kitanda so wakati nilikuwa najipanda kwa kitanda nilikuwa napiga piga kitanda hivi usiku nasema kaida shoka industrialia <laughs> kwani nimerudi industrialia praise the name of the living god because sasa nilikuwa ninafikia nimefika but let me tell you that changed my life nikasema kweli hata maisha haya mtu akikula anasa miaka hamsini. ile hukumu ya Mungu atakutana nayo atasahau miaka hamsini ya anasa ile mateso atapata ha, siku ya kwanza utakuwa unasema miaka hamsini yangu ni bure siku ya kwanza tu na ile shida utapitia uingie binguni utakapofika kule utasahau machozi utasahau mateso 
utazao mambo yale yote mabaya uliyopitia katika maisha haya utaona Mungu amekulipa zaidi ya yale yote umepitia kutoka wakati huo nikasema na nitakaa katika wokovu paka siku moja i make it to heaven oh i don't just desire to preach i don't just desire mega church i desire to make it to heaven heaven is real praise the name of the living god hallelujah and i desire ha, that i may make it to heaven brethren praise the name of the living god na mimi naweza kumwambia mungu kama kuna kitu utanipatia kifanye nisiingie binguni wacha asinipatie praise the name of the living god hallelujah na kama kuna kitu kinaweza kuniondoa katika uzuri wake akiona kiko pale mbele aniondoe kabla sijafika pale fadhali niondolewe kabla sijafika iwe kuna jambo unajua kuna watu Mungu huachukua tu anaona huyu nikimwacha pale sasa huyo hata pita unashindwa huyu mtu aliena namna gani he kafagai aonokie uruine praise the name of the living god i desire to make it to heaven Praise the name of the living God because heaven is real. Hallelujah. The package of salvation we led from Sunday school John 3:16. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. What does John 3:16 says? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life eternal life is part of the package of salvation yes praise the name of the living god mtu asikudanganye alexander the greater alijua upate mali gani ujenge manyumba ngapi Uibie watu uwe watu ufanye mambo yale yote utakayofanya siku moja hiyo mali yote manyumba yote vitu vyote utaviwacha hapa Bwana pe sifa you came here empty handed you shall go in. na unaona vile hauna time na Mungu ukitafuta pesa na hazitoshi praise the name of the living god sometimes just sit down and have fellowship with god God the Bible says God who has called us into fellowship with his son Mungu ametuita tuwe na ushirika na mwanawe Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah he has given us access that we may be able to go before the father with confidence and freedom And imagine how we don't get time tukisubuliwa na mambo ya hapa mambo ambayo utayaacha hapa nataka nikwambie agano limekusimamia maisha haya bwana asifiwe sana si tuliona Matthew 6:32 ya kwamba the pagans they love after these things ha huh? 6:32 of Matthew they learn after these things but your father knows for the pagans learn after all these things and you are heaven a father knows that you need them but the bible says but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well praise the name of the living god may god have mercy upon us where we have pursued earthly things more than we pursue our relationship and our fellowship with God. Bwana pe sifa. Thank God for the people who can find time. I know people who are here even tonight from church without walls. Mungu amewabariki, wako na mabiashara kubwa, but they can still find time ya kuachana na kila kitu, wakuje katika uwepo wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. That is a great revelation. Kwa sababu watu wengi wakibalikiwa na vitu vya dunia hii, wanaibiwa kabisa wanasahau ya kwamba maisha haya ni ya muda wapendwa mimi natamani nifike i know and i know that heaven 
is real. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na wacha ni kuambie, wakati mi sikuwa ni miyokuwa ni kuwa na jipatia sababu uo mungu, mimi yata ni kifa, wacha ni kufe tu ni zikwe. Mungu wakaniambia, you are a spirit. Spirits don't die. That is why Paul is saying, I know my departure is near. You can only leave the body, but you are not the body. Peter is saying, when I leave the tent of this, God has assured me that very soon, I am going to leave the tent of this boy. Si utembe na mungu mpaka ukikaribia kuchukuliwa mungu anakuambia sasa anza kujianda. Mimi naeza taka hivyo. Mimi naeza taka death hiwe appointment. Ndiyo sande ya musha ni wambia wapendwa. Siju kama nitakuwa na kuja na miti hapa. Ha? Na wambia shianashi ya gai. <laughs> Mutiguo horo. Ha? Mwachwe Musije mukawacha huyu mungu tumemutumikia Praise the name of the living God Sayo siju itakuwa wadu Diva hivyo wasa nita ama itakuwa wapi Lakini mi sioni kama tutakufa Mi naona yesu watakuja nikiwa hai Praise the name of the living God Mi naona nikubadishwa tutabadishwa Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Lakini natamani kuingia binguni Will you make it to heaven? Tutakutana na nyinyi huko? Praise the name of the living God. Aki ya mungu, nikikutana na wewe huko, nita kusalimia high five. Praise the name of the living God. Si unona hata raza raza rieda kusalimia Ibrahim for high five. Ali muangukia kifuani, paa! Paka Ibrahim wake muambia, modo na enwa kinya. Melimu de nago tolia. De nado nago tolia. Ona aguishi ya kule ya magoro. Do nare mwone kukinya koko. Ibrahim walikuwa na mwambia razo razo. Umefika hapa. Magonjo haiku kueza. Umasikini ya huku kueza. Ata mbwa ziki kujaribu kukugura migu. Bado umefika hapa. Na kuambia kwa vio vio te vire. Fika binguni. Praise the name of the living God. Hata ukikosa mali ya hapa duniani. Fika wapi? Fika binguni. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Number two, Bibide ina tuwenyesha. Ya kwamba, there is what that is called the millennium kingdom. This is a very important teaching in the Bible. I may not be able to exhaust it. But the Bible teaches that there will be a thousand years of the lane of Christ here on earth. Bwana suwe sana. After the rapture and after the marriage feast. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Baada ya kufanya shelehe za bibi na buwana arusi, the church and our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the living God. Tutakuja hapa na tutawale na Kristo Yesu meaka elfu moja. Dio Yesu aonyeshe kama ufanme wake ungekua hapa duniani, ungekua na mnagani. Wakati uo kifo kitaondolewa, dhambi itaondolewa, praise the name of the living God, magonjwa itaondolewa. Ata vile tunalileti na wanyama wale mesoma bibiria. Bibi nasema ya kwamba mtoto atakuwa anacheza na nyoka. Ama anacheza na simba. Kama vile mtoto ucheza na mbwa. Yani mpaka relationship yetu na wanyama. Unajua iya ni mose te ilikuja ni kwa kufanya dhambi. Dhambi diyo ilifanya tuye na ni mose na wanyama. Si unona Adam diya lipatiwa kazi ya kuenda kunemu wanyama. Alikuwa na wangawa we utakuwa na ituwa dovu. Na dofu inasema hivi. Inakubali. Sasa ukikalibia dofu, inakumaliza. Da? Buwana suwe sana. But in the millennial reign of Christ. Let's read some portion of scripture. Especially when you read the Revelation, chapter 20 from verse 1 to 6. Utaona mambo ya thousand years imerudiwa hapo kama marasita. The Bible says, And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven. 
having the key to the abyss and holding in his hand a great chain. Mm -hmm. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent who is the devil, or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. Praise the name of the living God. He bound him for a Hapa ni vizuri kunoti ya kwamba, in verse 1, it is not Michael or the angels that we know who came to bind the devil. Verse 1, the Bible says, And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss, and holding in his hand a great chain. I chain atujui na kana mnagani, lakini bibi na tuambia shetani atafungwa Miaka elfu moja. Na usiwai kufikiria ati shetani huwa wanashidana na mungu. Najua kuna watu wanafikiria anga ati shetani wanamenyana na mungu wapana. Hata wakati mungu waliku, atataka shetani ya fungwe. Atafungwa na maraika. Tuni maraika atatumwa. Ha? Mungu wakitaka kuzuiria shetani. Ni kitu kidogo. Na hiyo kufungwa ukisoma Jude verse 6. Bibina tuambia kwamba hata kuna maraika wengine wale walio anguka, walifungwa. Kwa hivyo kuna mahali hata siku ya leo, mungu walio na wengine wakiachiriwa, wale machifu kampina wa shetani, walio na hawa wafungwe. And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority, but had burdened their home, this he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for the judgment on the great day. Kuna mapepo ilifungwa igoje siku ya ugumu. Yani mungu alisema nyinyi mukiachiriwa duniani watu watakuwa na shida zaidi. Kasema hawa wafungwe na minyero, they are rebellious. Mesha ikuona politician na kifanya campaign, lakini machifu campaigners wake ni wabaya kumuliko. Sasa kuna machifu campaigners wa shetani. Mungu alisema hawa wafu. Paka siku ya... Lakini hapa, why is the devil being bound for a thousand years? Let us continue. Tuone. Uh, Revelation 20 verse 2. Tuendere. Tuone iyo meaka elfu moja. Revelation. He sees the dragon, that Asian serpent, who is the devil or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And then he threw him into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him. That means he is just being resisted, uh, not the final judgment, to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were added. After that, he must be set free for a short time. That is a, where we'll have now the great battle. I saw thrones on which were seated those who have been given authority to judge. So there are saints who will be given the authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those uh, who had been beheaded because of their testimony for Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or his image uh, and had not received his mark on their foreheads or their hands. Or, or, or their hands. Uh, they came to life uh, and reigned with Christ. They reigned with Christ for? So this is not eternal life. They are reigning with Christ a thousand years. This thousand years will be here on earth. Then verse 5, the Bible says, The last of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years ended. This is a first resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who are part in the first resurrection. The second death has no power over them, but they will be pleased of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. The Bible says uh, the blessed are the unholy are those who have part in the first resurrection. That means the wicked will not be resurrected by that time. They will wait for the thousand years. Praise the name of the living God. It is only the righteous who will be resurrected. And the Bible says uh, they will be given the power to judge. Hiyo miaka elfu moja ya utawara wa Christo Yesu. And he will be ruling from Jerusalem. Israel will be a superpower. In fact, uh, part of um, Isaiah chapter 2 from verse 1, 
Although we read it as if it is happening now, the climax will be during those thousand years, the millennial kingdom. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the last days, the mountain of the lost temple will be established as chief among the mountains. It will be laced above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. That will be the headquarters for all the nations. Nations will be going uh, uh, to Israel. In the, let's read verse 3. But see, many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, because that will be the headquarters of the whole world. Praise the name of the living God. And Jesus will be ruling from there. And the saints will be given the power to judge according to how they live this life. So, vida unaishi hii maisha, wengine utakuwa chief. Bwana sifia sana. Hallelujah. Puna watu wengine watakuwa watu wakubwa wa governor. Paka unauliza huyu mama. Sinuri alikuwa hana meno. Sasa kwa ne? He. Kwa sababu vidi alitumikia mungu. Sasa amekuwa mkubwa katika serikali ya yesu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Hata mimi naomba mungu wa nisaidie. Siju kama nitakuwa president wa Amerika wakati wa ama nitakuwa wapi. Ha? Nitaendelea kueka bidi na heza pati wa kacheo. <laughs> Praise the name of the living God. Hatuta watu wa tu hivi hivi. Tutapati wa mahali tusimamie. Na tutasimamia kwa haki. Watu wote dunia mzima. Watakuwa matajiri. Kwa sababu dunia iko na utajiri wa kutosha watu. Yes, watatawara hapa duniani Aonyeshe ya kwamba It is because of the greed Of men And the wickedness of men That people were suffering Here on earth Praise the name of the living God Atatawara Aonyeshe ya kwamba There were enough resources There will be peace huh? The money that is in Do you know how much money Nations invest in their armies for battle. Huh? Ataangalia tu budget ya Kenya ya jeshi. Kama hakungekuwa na mambo ya jeshi, hatungekuwa na njaa. Lakini sasa kwa sababu lazima mununue vifaru. Huh? Sasa serikali ya Yesu haitakuwa na vifaru. Bibi nasema AK, AK-47 zitabadilishwa ziweza kulimia mahindi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hazi itakuwa na kazi. Jina ya bwana ipewe sifa. Hizi vifaru zote zitakuwa za kulima mashamba. Mitire ililaaniwa ikawacha kuzaa matunda, itaanza kuzaa matunda tena. Utakuwa unachuna matunda kwa kichaka. Praise the name of the living God. Hii matunda yote unaona inauzwa bei kali kali. Tokuwa tunaichukua huku kwa barabara imeanguka. Ni kwenda matunda. Ndio hii imejaa huku. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah, si mungu wa kusaidie that you'll be able to take part in the rapture. Jina labwana ipewe sifa. This is a new covenant that God has given us, not only for this life, but for the life to come. Let not this life overtake you. Remain focused. Let us be diligent in this life to glorify God. To fulfill every prophecy that is written concerning us. May you become a walking prophecy. Hili mambo yale mungu wa mesema. Ya kwamba injini tahubiriwa katika dunia yote. Si wiki mungu wa metunenea. Na akasema Kenya. Bado mungu wa metuita. Ya kwamba kutoka inchi hii. Injini tahubiriwa dunia yote. Na hiyo simiandiku katika madhao ishi na ine. Ya kwamba hata kama kutakuwa na mambo mengi. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the nations. And then the end will come. Si tujiandai wapendwa. Si tujitoe, tujitakase. Tumuambie buwana. Niko tiari kutumika. Kwa sababu hautarudi. Paka injiri hii. Iubiriwe katika dunia yote. Na itahubiriwa katika ishara. Na miuchiza. 
na matendo makubwa ya Mungu. Oh, niko hapa kutangaza kuna jeshi linaandaliwa. Kuna watu Mungu anatayarisha. Praise the name of the living God.